Hello, my Leo friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Leo. The sun rules your sign, and it is the ruler of the fifth house on the astrology wheel of fun. You are the zodiac's fun button, my friends. Let's look and see what spirit wants to give you as an underlying energy here to inform you. Okay, blossoming. There is a relationship that is flourishing, blossoming enjoying the attraction that the two of you have for each other well you know the fifth house is a house of romance so leo you are large and in charge resistance though okay are you trying to resist are they trying to resist what's going on here so let's see what we have leo okay so we're going to do a nine card spread we're going to look at your mutual energy and we're going to clarify everything and we're going to see what the future holds for the two of you in this connection. All the readings are timeless and they are predictive, so they may or may not resonate right now. But if you watch, they'll probably resonate sometime in the near future. All right, within six months. So your mutual energy at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy, that is a sister sign or brother sign for you. On the astrology wheel, doing the work, day to day, getting up, being invested, being very practical, taking into consideration how busy both of you are. Moving slowly, though, towards a conclusion. But again, we while the relationship is blossoming and the attraction is, there is some resistance. So we're going to see what that's about. All right, so let's see what we have. Dear, dear Leo. Look at that cute little queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. She is wanting to make a statement. All right, so I'm going to cut the deck for you and see what we have for your mutual energy in the recent past. Magician card, wow. That is Gemini and Virgo energy. You might be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You're manifesting each other. You're making this relationship blossom. You're doing things. Leo, I think you're being tricky. I think you're playing hard to get here, but we'll see. I think you're trying to disappear a little bit because there's some annoyance in this relationship currently. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. The attraction is off the charts. Five of Swords, though, there's a little bit of edgy energy here. It can be mind games. It can be, you know, when I say mind games, I'm not trying to say that anybody's a bad person. But it's when you start not listening to your intuition and you start getting in your ego. The Five of Swords is the desire. Both of you have the desire to win at any cost. But both of you in this process are feeling a little agitated. And so there's a resistance to the relationship going on right now. So what we see here, oh, Leo, your person wants to have great happiness, joy. They want to go out with you. They want to dance with you. They want to eat, drink, and be merry with you. Your person wants to introduce you to their friends. They want to have joy and happiness with you. This is also making love energy. So we see that the attraction is very powerful. So your person views this relationship as a wish fulfillment. This is virtually, you know, you're a wish that's come true for them. How they view you, the Page of Pentacles, they don't really see you making any big moves. Your person feels that, yes, you're there, it's Virgo energy, but you're not really offering a lot. They don't know necessarily that you're interested. And I think that there's a push-pull of resistance going on here. How do they feel in their heart space for you? Strength card, Leo energy, there you are in the reading. They don't want anybody else. They feel a profound desire, a profound attraction. Um, this is a person who has the courage, the tenacity, the desire. They love you. They've tamed the beast within. We have the infinity symbol tattooed to her arm. That's number eight. That's a strength card. Leo energy, of course. So they see you as the strongest person that they want in terms of who they want. They don't plan on going anywhere. They're right there. That you have their heart, Leo, but they don't see you be being very invested here. How do they view the situation moving forward? The High Priestess card means that your person intuitively has an opinion, but they're not sharing it. 
we get the energy here that your person is keeping silent right now that they are trying to tap into their intuition they're trying to figure out what's going on why you're not really seeming to be as invested perhaps as you once were they're trying to figure out what the resistance here is what's hidden between the two of you and your mutual energy you love each other resistance to allowing the relationship to grow very interesting but the ace of cups you both love each other it's like new love all the time i feel like this relationship has been around a while i really do because the blossoming happens you know these seeds were planted a while ago and it is slow moving energy so we have two people who really love each other who are not really speaking about it all right what is spirit recommending or advising spirit is advising you that this is problematic for the relationship that the lack of clarity with emotions that the lack of sharing the emotions is putting you both underwater it's making both of you feel as though the other one doesn't care we're not getting sort of an equal give and take not it, the emotions are there the love is there the happiness is there the magic the chemistry is there but there seems to be like an unspoken argument going on a bit of a power struggle I, I don't know if I would call it that necessarily but look at this your outcome is a two of cups that is a card of being soulmates that's a card of the two of you opening up so we see a resistance to that however it's there you know, Leo, I mean, at the end of the day, you're very, very expressive when you want to be. But you're also very, you know, you're a fixed sign. So it does mean that you have requirements of other people. You don't just give and give needlessly. You give and you want to give and take relationship. Two of Cups is a beautiful outcome for you. So let's go ahead and look at what the energies are and what's going on. Because you have a great relationship. And yet the two of you are moving very slowly. What is going on? Okay. So why do we have this Virgo energy? Why is this Virgo energy here? I like Virgo energy. It's very reliable. If a Virgo tells you they're going to show up at a certain time and place, and they have a, the tendency to do that pretty well. So let's see what we've got here. What is the energy here? The High Priestess. The two of you are not speaking. Why else are you moving slowly? The World card. Both of you want to go to the next level. Why though? Because this can be closing out a cycle. It always is. However, it's also starting a new cycle with the Trinity 3. And it's closing out not any cycle. It's closing out a very successful cycle in your relationship. One in which there has been a tremendous about amount of love and passion. Why is the world card here? The tower card. Something has happened. What happened? What does the tower card represent? The ace of cups, new love. All right. So, What I'm seeing here, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups is a two of you. It's not a third party. What I'm seeing here is that one of you, and it's difficult to say which one of you, Leo, but I think that it might be you who's resisting. I feel as though there's the, the energy that's been going on in this relationship is that your life as you know it will change radically if you go to the next level because the world card is also leveling up it's like when you go from dating to dating exclusively or you go from dating exclusively to becoming engaged or living together and what I'm getting here is that somebody in this situation is fearful of dramatic change to their life and so that's where the resistance is coming in why do we have the magician card here spirit why do we have the, the Magician card here? There we go, Hermit card. So all of this magic that goes on between the two of you is understood deeply by both of you, and you are both seeking answers. 
The clarifier for the Five of Swords is, so we have uh, the Hermit card here. Somebody has stepped away, Virgo energy, Virgo energy. Uh, we also have Five of Swords as clarified right now by the Seven of Swords. There is something very fishy going on here. What is going on? What is Five of Swords, Seven of Swords is, are two of the worst cards in the deck, and it's the energy that's happening. The Justice card. So somebody's trying to get balanced. Boy, that really just smacks. The thing that jumps out at me as a reader and an intuitive is that somebody is getting a divorce or somebody is going through some sort of legal issue and they are absolutely staying silent. So if you are in a third party situation and you're in love with somebody who is married, it looks like there's some deviousness going on somehow within a legal binding relationship. I'm not going to say that you're married, but that could be somebody who's living with another person. Tell us more about that. What? Tell us what that is. What is the big secret that's of a legal nature? Queen of Wands. Okay. So to me, that oftentimes represents the other woman. If there is a third party, again, I'm not necessarily seeing a third party, but there are inklings that it, there are shades of gray, shall we say, because... If somebody gives in to this relationship, they may have to restructure their whole life. And so there's where the resistance is in. So it makes sense emotionally and logically if there's a third party. Now, it's not going to resonate for everyone like that. So, Leo, what is your person? Why does your person find you their wish fulfillment? They like that you're very assertive, that you're very bold with them, that you come forward very quickly. They like the fact that you are studious. Um, you're a person who has a lot to talk about. You know, you're easy to be with. You're very down to earth. You're very grounded in the Six of Cups. They feel as though you it's a soulmate connection. You have a very strong soulmate bond here. So your person really does want a reunion with you. That's how they see it happening. But right now there there could be some other entity, some other situation getting in the way of this because we see that one of you is actively resistant and the other one is reacting to that resistance because it's really palpable for you. It seems really obvious somehow in the vibe. All right, so why the Page of Pentacles and why have we had it twice? Ten of Coins, okay. So that's another, that's a marriage card. That is a legacy, that's building a legacy. Your person sees you, Leo, as someone who wants to get rich, who wants to have a wealthy family, who wants to be very successful, Virgo energy, you're willing to work very hard to earn it. They see you as, quote unquote, certainly a marriage type person that they would love to marry. Okay, so tell us more about this marriage card, though. Is this to the person who's watching the video, or is it to someone else? Is this third party, or is this this desire, do they perceive it to be, does your person perceive it to be with them? Who do they perceive this to be? Queen of Cups, Mother of Children. Mother of Wands is somebody different. Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at the point that if your person is involved with um, a family, if they're, if they're married, if they still want to be happily ever after in a marriage or with the mother of their children, so that's a big influence. So we can see why the resistance is here in this relationship. Okay, so your person, Leo, is the Four of Swords, healing. They are wounded person is feeling wounded, hurt, knocked down, hung out to dry. They're trying to look at things from a different perspective. They're seeking answers. They want in their heart space with you to marry you. Four of Wands, another marriage energy. So your, pres or your person sees you as highly desirable and wanting a relationship with you. But Five of Swords says that they don't think that you're at all intending anything good with them. Oh my God, this is breaking my heart. All right. 
This is, this is, tell me in the comments because this is a very complicated reading. It's not surprising though, especially in that, in that sort of a situation. The Ace of Swords, a person understands exactly what's going on. So whether they want to or not, they're being quiet, they're tapping into their intuition, they understand that this is a very strategic thing that's happening and that it's meant to happen this way. Queen of Swords energy, Judge Judy, as I like to say. The Queen of Swords energy is in the energy of, you know, your person wants to stay balanced. They want to be treated fairly. They want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth because that's what would be kind. The Page of Swords, they're trying to find things out. They're trying to spy on you. They're trying to figure things out. The Star card says that they want the relationship. So, Leo, your person sees you as the rock star in their life. Between the two of you, there's romance, and the strength card is here. Ace of Cups, strength, oh my gosh. But again, the Knight of Cups is somebody who comes and goes and doesn't stay, and your person has been dealing with that. They're very fixed in your life, even if you are not fixed in their life. Again, these energies can be vice versa. You all, all of you know that, Seven of Cups. So Spirit is saying that things are really very confusing right now, that your person is confused, that they are very worried. They are they have a plan in their life, and they don't want any burdens to get in the way of it. The Knight of Swords is, you know, really saying that you need to have clarity, Leo. You need to really speak your truth to this person, that if this person is someone that you have no long-term intention with that you you really should let them go you should cut them loose that would be only fair because right now spirit is saying yes we know you love this person leo but you know if you're all up in your head with this gemini energy and you have a strategic plan about a family that you want and you don't want this burden you should rush in and tell them so that they can learn the truth and go on about their life so However this is playing out, whatever way, you know, I don't want to hang anybody out to dry. That's not the point. What I'm trying to say is spirit is really urging clarity, kindness, truth, and honesty here. That this is a soulmate. That even if you have a resistance or somebody has a resistance about the relationship, the information needs to be shared. Because here's the thing. If you have good karma in this life, you might be able to be with one another either in this life or another. We get the Sun card, happiest card in the entire deck. That is a clarifier for the Two of Cups. So it speaks to the fact that regardless of whoever wants this plan for long-term you know, wealth abundance with the mother of children, the information that's coming out here is that your happiness probably lies with this soulmate that we're seeing in front of us. So for those of you who are like in a conundrum, you don't know what to do, you know, we're really seeing a lot of joy and happiness. Also, what the message I'm getting here is that for anyone who's dealing with, uh, with, if there are any children in the mix that would be stepchildren or children from a relationship, it looks like it would be quite beautifully worked out. Everybody would work out everything for the best interest of the children. Thank you so much, Leo. Take care. Bye-bye.